Hi, today I'm talking about innovating through self-treatment of wounds. The problem I'm trying to address is that patients should be able to self-treat their venous leg ulcers. Venous leg ulcers are chronic recurrent wounds of the lower leg that affect half a million Australians and cost $802 million per annum. These wounds have a significant negative impact on quality of life. I'm interested in self-treatment of wounds when the patient cleans the wounds and applies and removes dressings and compression bandaging. I know from my previous research that patients do self-treat and they want to self-treat, however that nurses need support to be able to promote this practice. My solution is a model of care for self-treatment of venous leg ulcers. This model of care includes education, support and clinical tools to encourage shared care between the patient and the nurse. Pre-TRAM, I knew of some of the problems and value propositions for patients and informal carers. However, I wasn't really clear on what the problems were and the value propositions for nurses, services and industries that were involved in wound care. So during TRAM, I undertook interviews with 15 stakeholders, including nurses, service managers, wound product industry representatives. I developed problem statements and value propositions and tested and refined those. I conducted ecosystem mapping to consider the flow of money, information and action between stakeholders and developed division. My learnings were that nurses needed and wanted self-treatment because it would promote better practice and give them greater job satisfaction. I learnt that self-treatment from the service perspective could reduce the demand and cost of service provision. And from the wound product industry perspective, they saw a supportive and educative role that would optimise the use of their products and lead to reputational gains. So my next steps are to continue talking and listening and to retest my assumptions. I'll continue to collaborate with stakeholders who have the biggest problems and perceive the greatest value. So my value proposition is that our innovative approach to wound care can support nurses to support patients to self-treat, saving valuable time and resources and aligning care with best practice. Our next steps are to work on a large grant application and I'd be really interested to talk to people who are interested in collaborating with us on this initiative, particularly service delivery partners, implementation experts and co-funders. Thank you for listening and my contact details are on the slides.